In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. So good afternoon, everybody. So I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all the many pilgrims who come here to this beautiful and special place. And this afternoon, we celebrate the feast of St. Maria Goretti. And as you know and I know, she was only a very young girl, 12 years of age. And you know, and in this beautiful place of Fatima, it's the young people that are given the example and are taking the lead in a world where there's a famine and a thirst and a hunger for spirituality. So I invite you now just to be seated for a little moment. St. Maria Goretti, way back in 1906, the girl, her life was taken by a young man. Uh, and uh, she was only 12 years of age. And he attacked her with, a, with a, a knife and stabbed her, and she lost her life. And she was defending the virtue of purity, and it cost her her life. And as she was dying, she's asked that we would forgive her, that God would forgive him for his sin. And so as we gather here as sinners, we acknowledge, Lord, that we too need mercy. We need forgiveness. And you call on us in this beautiful, beautiful place here in Fatima to offer up sacrifice and to do everything we can to reach out in love and mercy to one another. And all of us can acknowledge people who have hurt us and offended us in the past. And when we come to Fatima, we are challenged to forgive, to offer and extend mercy to the offender, and we seek pardon and inner peace. 
I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, author of innocence, lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin, Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so too we may be firm in obeying your commandments. We make this our prayer through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. We're seated in the tent of, to hear the Lord speak to us through the scriptures. A reading from the prophet Amos. Listen to this, you who trample on the needy and try to suppress the poor people of the country. You who say, when will new moon be over so that we can sell our corn and Sabbath so that we can market our wheat. Then by lowering the bushel, raising the shekel, by swindling and tampering with the scales, we can buy up the poor for money and the needy for a pair of sandals and get a price even for the sweepings of the wheat. That day, it is the Lord who speaks. I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I am going to turn your feasts into funerals, all your singing into lamentation. I will have your loins all in sackcloth, your heads all shaved. I will make it a morning like the morning for an only son. As long as it lasts, it will be like a day of bitterness. See what days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. Days when I will bring famine on the country, a famine not of bread, a drought not of water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. They will stagger from sea to sea, wander from north to east, seeking the word of the Lord and failing to find it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your responsive psalm will be, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. They are happy those who do his will, seeking him with all their hearts. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Your response, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is ever consumed in long in longing for your decrees. I have chosen the way of truth with your decrees before me. Your response, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. See, I long for your precepts. Then in your justice, give me life. I open my mouth and I sigh as I yearn for your commands. Your response? Uh, please stand. Hallelujah. 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 Teach me your paths, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was walking, he saw a man named Matthew sitting by the customs house. He said to him, follow me. He got up and he followed him. While he was at dinner in the house, it happened that a number of tax collectors and sinners came to sit at the table with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard this, he replied, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. Go and learn the meaning of the word. What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. And indeed, I did not come to call the virtuous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beautiful little prayers, we all know it off by heart. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. What's the prayer? God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The children, as I mentioned, Francisco, Jacinta, and Louise, Maria Goretti on this feast day, have given each and every one of us an example to follow. For the three little visionaries, we're called to pray, to make sacrifice for the sins of the world, for the sinner present. In our readings, we hear there is a famine. And God knows when you read the signs of the times, there is indeed a spiritual famine throughout the world. There is a hunger and a thirst for God. As human beings, we're seeking purpose and meaning to our lives. Sure, aren't you seeking happiness and contentment? We all want to live a long and healthy life and stay above ground. And yet, as Christians, we wait in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But the reality is, few of us yet want to go. There is a famine in the world, a hunger for God's word. Man lives not on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. It's not that we heard today. When the angel returned the second time, I think it was to the Kova, to the children, when he returned the second time, they were busy playing. And the angel said to the children, more or less reprimanded them, what are you at? You should be praying. Pray, pray, pray. Make sacrifices. We too can be busy with the affairs of the world. Far too busy to make time for change in our own personal lives, or even make time for God. Not to speak about making time for prayer or making sacrifice. The angel cries to us today, what are you at? What is the world about? As Christians, we are called to pray, 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 make sacrifice. Make sacrifice for the sins of the world, for ourselves, for our own salvation. Together we can say that beautiful prayer that the angel taught the children. So I'm only learning it myself. We say together, my God, I believe, I have hope, I adore and I love thee. I implore thy pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, 
do not have hope and do not love thee. Amen. In the midst of famine, of doubt and disbelief in our world, we turn now to the Eucharistic table. We recall Christ's words to us. Take, eat, this is my body. Take, drink, this is my blood. Jesus says to us, for my flesh is real food. My drink is real blood. Anyone who eats my flesh, drinks my blood, Christ says, lives in me, and I live in him or her. And I will raise you up on the last day. For if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man or drink his blood, you will not have life within you. I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. I invite you all now to please stand, and the children will lead us in prayer. The response to this prayer is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, we pray to God, the Almighty Father, who gave to the world through Mary, his only son, as Savior and Prince of Peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Holy Church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, Receive from God abundance of that peace with Jesus Christ brought into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now we'll have Carla. She's going to read for us. May we learn to trust the Lord and be strong in faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Matthew. May we daily pick up our cross and p to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. My God, we believe, we have hope, we adore and love you. We seek pardon for all who do not believe. We do not, we do not adore do not have hope and do not have do not love you. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for all the pilgrimage, especially for those who are sick today. Mind and spirit all Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for all the pilgrims, especially those here present, for your own intentions, we bring them before the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. On this, the feast day of Saint Maria Goretti, we pray for all victims of assault, be that emotional, be that sexual or physical, we pray that with proper counselling and support in a caring community and through prayer, they will experience healing 
and eventually be able to live full and healthy lives. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our deceased family members, relatives, and friends. Be merciful, Lord, to all our dead. Receive them into your kingdom. Lord, hear us. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima, we present all our prayers before the Lord as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. that our sacrifice of bread and wine may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your Lord for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, be pleased with our gifts of bread and wine. May they become for us your body broken and blood shed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. It's our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of the blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed. You are the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts that we bring to you. To send down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and he gave you, Father, thanks and praise. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Antonio our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so we stand before God and we dare to address him as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the King of Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your, live, with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And we extend to one another the hand of friendship, the hand of peace. peace, 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 peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. We thank you, Lord. We gather as sinners around your table broken as we are in body, mind, and spirit. But though so many, we are one, sharing in the one cup, sharing in the one body of Jesus. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood, says the Lord, has eternal life in him or her. I will raise you up, he says, on the last day. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of blessed Saint Maria Goretti, we may bear in our hearts the marks of your son's charity and suffering and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. We make this our prayer through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. So a little word of thanks to Father Jude here and to my fellow concelebrants. Thanks to Marion Carl and to many pilgrims who have gathered here today. So if you hold up now your little objects, your pious objects, we ask the Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit we ask him to bless each and every little object that you bring for family members and friends. God, our Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless all these little objects that we have bought for family members and friends, to adorn our homes and to give hope to the sick. May all, Lord, who invoke your name through these pious objects, may they know healing and inner peace and contentment. May they be strengthened in their inner selves protect the home, and deliver us from all evil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. For we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh-uh. <laughs> 